Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're checking out an older system, an HP Pavilion 500 model unit. And man, this thing's pretty old, but uh, then again, these days, things aren't going as far as fast as they used to be with computers. It used to be back in the day, two years, your computer uh, wasn't uh, 100%. But man, that two years has expanded to about four years. And the thing is, they can't make transistors any smaller. So the transistors within the CPUs aren't getting any smaller because uh, you get so small that electricity starts working unpredictably in a subatomic level which is just just freaking crazy at a subatomic level electricity doesn't work so what they do is they make CPU chips bigger and they put more CPUs in it so instead of having one CPU that can go like three uh, three gigahertz you got like eight cores eight cores and usually with eight cores actually means there's just four cores that can uh hyper thread but anyways let's get into this this system is an i3 um hp pavilion 500 to 214 desktop pc with convenient expandability options the hp pavilion 500 is the versatile pc that grows as your needs do with a sharp modern design it fits seamlessly anywhere you put it Top that off with powerful performance, strong graphics, and generous storage, and you found your ideal PC. Yep, so you can definitely do a lot with this particular thing. Uh, this particular unit came from a, a smoker's house who has pets, so as you can imagine, there's lots of dust in this thing. I'm going to have to take a, a compressed air to this thing, definitely. But uh, one of the cool things that we can notice when we look on the inside is that... Okay, so we got a little Wi-Fi card up here. We have four places for RAM. We have a uh, cool zone fan. Very nice. This one seems to use the same kind of bay that Lenovo use. Oh, no, it doesn't. Because with Lenovo, you pop this up, but this is just how this stays. So looks like it'd be difficult to put a slave drive in here unless you put it right in there. But we have expandable uh, availability. We can get a video card in there. We have a mini spot, mini spot. And that is it. That is it. But yeah, still it's interesting that we got four spots for RAM. And on the back, this is something I'm kind of interested to see. I don't see this all the time. But at the back, we actually have DVI and VGA and optical out. Optical out. I don't see that too much on motherboards these days. Apparently this thing was released in 2013, making this thing, what, seven years old? It used to be if the system was five years old, it was no good. But anyways, this system keeps shutting itself down, apparently. I definitely think it has something to do with the amount of dust that's around the fan. So let's clean that out and see how we can uh, clean it up, folks. All right, so after a good dusting, I just hit it with some air, and she's squeaky clean. I'm loving the fact that there are four spots there for RAM. Oh, no, I missed some. I thought I got all of it. Friggin' dust. Oh, well, that stuff doesn't matter so much, I suppose. Okay, we got her powered up for the first time and she's doing all right. So far, so good. Lights are on, everybody's home. Let's throw a pass mark, PC mark, benchmark at it and see if it stays on. I imagine the main complaint of this individual was it was shutting off. And I imagine that uh, we have solved that by taking care of the dust. Oh, you hear that hard drive? That, that, you hear that? I do not like the sound of that drive. Oh, and just like that, we had a reboot. It was taking forever to turn on, and it just turns itself off. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, so it wasn't the dust doing it. We will have to continue. Unfortunately, the power of faith from Mr. KFC, man, Mr. Sanders, and my faith healing crystals were not enough to stop the gremlins in this unit. Oh, my faith-based objects. Why have you failed me? All right, I could not get this thing to do anything without crashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight to installing Windows 10 on this unit and see awesome. if it continues to crash. I've got to say, I feel really bad for uh, people who uh, try to upgrade their operating system, but don't. Like, this thing has Windows 8 on it, it looks like, and unfortunately, they didn't upgrade when they could have. And because of that, they're stuck on Windows 8. Now I'm going to try to put Windows 8.1 on it, but that's after I test this uh, Windows 10. Now I'm going to be putting with Windows 8.1 because that's what they got. And I don't have any pirated versions of Windows 10 that work reliably and that I'm happy with. 
it should be said that uh, I replaced the hard drive with the used solid state drive. So let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, we got Windows 10 on here. So far, so good. As you can see, this has an AMD A8 with a 650 APU. We only got four gigs of RAM in here. We got four slots for more. So we're gonna have a lot of action with that. We're gonna have a lot of fun there. And as you can see, we're downloading the drivers for the advanced micro devices, driver update, AMD, Radeon HD 8570D. That's what we got going. We're gonna take a benchmark of it. Then I'm going to upgrade it as far as I reasonably can. And then I'm going to run another benchmark again. All right, folks, ready to go. Got all the drivers installed. Going to run a performance test with uh, Passmark Benchmark. I will come back when the video starts rolling, and with the help of Colonel Sanders, maybe we'll get a good mark. Oh, wow, Colonel, check that out. Actually, get out of the way a bit. 10 frames per second on ActiveX. I believe that was 9. And here's ActiveX 10. We got in 77 frames per second. Jeez, that's not so bad for a computer that old. That is not so bad. I can't do 1080, of course. I'm getting penalized by 1.4 frames per second. But still, that is not bad considering the age of this system versus uh, some of the newer stuff even that I see. Okay, odds are this thing won't be able to handle DirectX 11 and 12. Oh my god, guys, it pulled it off. It pulled off DirectX 11. Um, I just can't see how many frames per second I'm getting. I think I'm getting 20 frames per second. I can't believe it. I'm getting freaking, I'm getting it to work on this old thing. All right, DirectX 12. Here we come. Let's see. No, no, DirectX 11. That's the best we get. Well, we can't complain about that. If this is an Intel chip, there definitely be no way it could even run DirectX 11. All right, as you can see, the score that we got here is uh, 858. That is more than HP, eight, or sorry, 6005. And that has a three core AMD with uh, four gigabytes of uh, RAM and an SSD. This is just a little worse than a Asus Vivo uh, BM40 with an SSD in it, that's four gigs of RAM. And just a little bit better than a Lenovo M92P with an old video card in it. Now, the next thing I wanna do is slam in the best old video card that I have right now, which is 12 years old. And this computer is seven years old. It's basically, it's a Zotac. It has a um, uh, Geoforce 200. Uh, video card chip in it and uh, I want to see if I can bring this score up a little bit I'll also be throwing in another four gigs of RAM or at least try and see if it'll take it okay so the video card did not work it was not compatible with the system but I got eight gigs of RAM in here and that put us up to 911 almost 912 mm, I can feel the power all right lucky for me got an airdrop of an Nvidia Quadro 600 video card let's stick this sucker in and see how she does yeah i'm starting to think that this computer is just racist against all video cards i mean this is the second one i put in there i know this one works this one absolutely works i promise my daughter didn't cover this particular one with yogurt and it just uh she won't take it what's going on girl it's time to look up what that code means I recently went to my BIOS screen and the BIOS did an update, then my computer shut off. If it is an Amy BIOS, the six beeps indicate a fatal error related to a motherboard issue. God dang it. Kenny, this is why we can't have nice things. Anyways, I checked the interwebs about this issue and you gotta get into the BIOS by hitting the escape button. Come over to security and then uh, secure boot. And then for legacy security, you have to, okay. You have to disable the secure boot and enable the legacy support. And then now it should be less racist against video cards. There's only one way to find out. Aw, yeah, ladies. Now, what I thought was a Quattro 200 turns out to be a Quattro 600. After changing those settings, I got it working great. And uh, apparently the yogurt my daughter dumped on this video card did not actually affect it. So let's give me, let's, let the, I'm going to reboot this thing and I'm going to run another benchmark test on it and see if a 12-year-old video card is uh, able to help an 8-year-old computer out. This thing's got one gig of ram so only one way to find out folks right okay direct x9 we have 11 frames per second 
I think that's a little bit better than how it was doing before. GT220, that's why I thought it was a GT200. Uh, Here we have DirectX 10. Not going very fast. Um, can't even see how many frames per second because it's pushed off the side of the screen. I guess I'll have to wait for the end score, but it looks like it's doing a little worse than uh, the onboard video was doing. But at least here, I have some onboard uh, memory. I have one gigabyte onboard memory, so it's not taken out of the eight gigs. I guess eight gigs is enough that it doesn't even matter if it's taken out of your memory, but that's what she is. Oh my goodness, the onboard is better than this unit because it didn't have DirectX 11. It didn't even have DirectX 11, that's interesting. So I'm guessing the score is actually going to be going down instead of up. Oh man, will you look at that? It actually pulled the score down by three quarters. All right, let's test out the NVIDIA Quadro uh, K600. Actually, just 600 unit. And we'll see how much better it does. You know, as much as Windows sucks, I think we all have to take a second and appreciate the fact that it can pick up drivers pretty quickly, pretty effectively. And that definitely helps me out with these reviews. I slam a new video card in, bingo bango, it gets the drivers, no problem, no fighting online with any of that fun stuff. Uh, just away you go. So once again, this is the Quadro 600 unit. And let's run a benchmark. It's been surprising me how infrequently video cards get upgraded. I mean, computers get upgraded relatively quickly, but even video cards are being affected by the slowdown. All right, Quattro 600. The planes are going at 23 frames per second. Best we had so far, of course. Direct X10. Jeez, the, the frames per second are off the page. You're only getting penalized by, by 3.59 percent, though. Must be something up with this Acer monitor. Oh well, let's see if it does Direct X 11 and 12. Well, it, it will. Direct X 10, not looking bad. At least 17 frames per second. No Direct X 12. That's interesting. I was sure I had this uh, video card pulling off Direct X 12. So that's definitely improvement. 1,200, or sorry, 1,324. Let's see if this thing will play Doom. Yup, it plays Doom. That's all that matters. Okay, so the final test, Grand Theft Auto. It plays at about 17 to 30 frames per second. I can't get over 30 frames per second. Once again, this K600 is um, this K600 is 10 years old, or at least that's when they made it. I think it's one gigabyte, and yeah, not so bad. 30 frames per second for an old system. If you just get a better video card, the kind that doesn't necessarily need a giant power supply, this is a good place to start. Definitely a good place to start. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Never from the Tech, but it's like and subscribe if you like the stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other.